What's up everyone, it's Jason here with Red Bee Labs and today I am excited. I know it's small, but Microsoft's SwiftKey keyboard has finally brought cursor support. So, on my iPhone, you know, I can just go down, click on the space bar, and then I can drag my finger around. It just moves the cursor all through the text and I can, you know, place it where I want, delete, do all the stuff. It's so much easier than trying to tap, 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 like the little area between the, um, the letters that you want or selecting things. It's just, you just press the, the space bar and it moves the cursor right to where you need. It's wonderful. So I found out today that Microsoft, their beta version for the Swift key, which I'll have a link in the description below, they are now allowing you to just go right on in and uh, as long as you know, go to the Play Store, you download it, install it and everything. And then when you're typing, you can do the same thing. All you do is press and hold the space bar and then move your finger around and then it moves the cursor around. Now, theirs is a little better to me. Theirs, theirs takes up the whole spot. So it almost like gives you a trackpad to where you could rub your finger all around to kind of get to the proper position. But either way, this is exciting to me because I just love that. I mean, when I was on the iPhone, uh, you know, I switched back and forth, but now I'm on Android and, you know, that's just one of the features I missed. And again, I know it's a small feature, but when you don't have it, you know, it just, it just nags at you a little bit. Now, the beta also is going to add a bunch of performance enhancements and just make an already awesome keyboard all better. So you definitely want to go out there and try it. For the longest time, I was a Gboard user, and then I jumped over here, and you know, I mean, this isn't going to be a review about the keyboard, but it, it's really nice. You guys should definitely go ahead and check it out. Okay, guys, I said it was going to be a quick one. I just wanted to show you a nice feature that I really, really, really liked, and I hope you like it too. So, question of the day. What keyboard do you use, and what features do you find that you just can't live without? If you found value in this video, if you can click the subscribe button and the notification bell, that way you won't miss out on any new content I release. Also, if you could smash that like button, leave me a comment or two, and share this video, you would be the awesome, awesome person that just makes my day. As always, this is Jason, and I'll catch you in the next one.